In this video, we'll cover all the basics of customizing the DX tree list filtering capabilities. The first one we'll cover is the filter row. To enable it, set the visible option of the filter row object to true. To filter records by column, I'll type John in the full name filter row cell. If any records are found, the tree list will contain only these records and their parents. Usually, a filter row cell is a text box. In certain cases, however, the filter row cell is represented by a control more suitable for filtering in a particular column. For example, when a column's data type option is date, its filter row cell contains a calendar that allows a user to choose a date. To restore the default filter operation, choose Reset from the list. Different filter operations may be performed over a column. I'll type Sales in the Position column and change the current filter operation by choosing an item from the filtering menu. To filter data against a specific column, I can invoke the column's header filter. Use the header filter.visible option to do this. The filter dropdown displays unique column values. I can select any item from this list. It automatically filters the tree list by selected values. The tree list also shows parents of found items. Another way to locate information within the DX tree list is to use the search panel. This feature allows you to find any record that matches values entered into the search field. To enable the search panel, set the search panel.visible configuration option to true. And here's how it looks in the browser. The search panel filters records by all columns at once. As you can see, records that match this text and their parents are displayed in the tree list. Search is conducted differently in columns with different data types. To find a record by a numeric, boolean, or date value, you'll need to enter a full value into the search panel. The last thing I'll show you is sorting. The tree list allows you to sort data without writing a single line of code. All you need to do is change the sorting mode to multiple. And let's see how this looks. I can sort a single column by clicking it. To select several columns, press Shift and click the required columns. To deselect a column, press Control and a required column. And that's it for this video. To learn more about the DX tree list widget, make sure to check out the documentation on our website. You can watch more DevExtreme videos from our playlist, or subscribe to our channel for all of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.